Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Welcome to another part of my Spyro 3 hack spectacular, whatever you want to call it. I have, honestly, at this point, I have no idea what to call it. And joining me for the first time, it's Ellen. You may have seen her in the comments. So that, um, she doesn't really have a YouTube channel name per se. So it's basically the elusive Ellen. It's not Ellen DeGeneres. It's not summer ellen page but you know it's the next best thing i will say it's the next best thing it's it's just it's just ellen there we go <laughs> the next best thing yeah i mean that's how you've been described a lot say, ellen the next best thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that sounds ellen really mean <laughs> yeah all right so she joins us here as a quite a big big spyro fan quite a big Spyro Hacks fan, if uh, you had the insight on our Skype call a couple of nights ago, showing this off actually, I was showing off all this stuff, including I think this level, but um, yeah, I might as well start by asking whether you've actually heard about these hacks before my channel. Uh, no, no, not, um, this, yeah, I'm very new to these hacks. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm literally just like uh, you, the few that you've shown me recently. It's like the first time I've seen them. So, yeah, totally see, new. I mean, most people, I mean, this video, I mean, in particular, like this actual task here, this is like it's not on YouTube at all. So, I mean, like, at the very least, this is the first one of its kind. But uh, as I said in like a couple parts ago or whatever, uh, Ratchet 5 and Mr. Modes, they were the guys that originally did it. And I'm just, I, you know, I'm not surprised you haven't seen them, mainly because it was like uploaded in like 09 or something like that. But yeah, either way. Yeah, this um, is my first introduction, pretty much. Sorry, yeah. I'm interrupting. No, it's fine. No, it's all good. Um, so we might as well show off what we, where we actually are. This is obviously an Agent 9 section or whatever you want to call it. So basically, you have to, you know, kill all the enemies. Now, it actually, I don't, I don't know whether I'd call it harder or easier. As Spyro, I don't know what. If, when you're looking at this, what would you say? Would do you think it looks easier or more difficult? I mean, it depends on how much you like uh, Agent Nine, I guess. Well, you can move a lot faster, so I'd say, um, yeah, that, yeah, that would be an advantage because there's so many enemies, so moving faster would make it easier. But I'd say mm. what makes the only thing that makes the other one easy is because there are a lot of enemies here. When you bang into these, um, like, see, like they actually. When you look, see, look, see, they've actually got quite a long reach because, like, Spyro yeah. is like a slightly like longer kind of creature. It almost feels like, and like, also when you hit into those things, it like has a big blowback. So you kind of have to like be out, out, like, like try and do it, like try and do everything from a distance, like this, like that. There you go. Boom, boom. Yeah, I keep distance at all times. You just get. It's easy to get surrounded by them, and yeah, just get get killed get but. killed yeah i was gonna say that um yes it, look, if you actually look at it like this it actually creates a really cool color pattern or like not pattern sorry like a color sort of gradient it's like the uh let's have a look wait can i oh, i actually can't move the camera i mean not the camera i can't press uh, triangle interesting wait in fact yeah i can't do anything right now it's just like it's just keeping me in this position but yeah so look, i think it, yeah it starts the yeah actually that's a really yeah I, th I always thought that was cool i mean they kind of did that in uh, what was it like, Bugbot Factory or something like that? In uh, in in what was it? I think it was I think it was Bugbot Factory, Bugbot Factory or like Starfish Reef or actually in general in all the Sparks challenges, it pretty much is like color, like decided yeah, by color. Yeah, actually really appreciate this. Like like the different hue. Yeah. In every section. Ends with the uh, purple of it. Now, by the way, as well, you actually can't do anything of note when you are. Oh, fuck off, you plat. Okay. Alright, um... So, can you pick up those, uh, white balls, those, what they throw? If you pick them up, this game will crash, everything will be gone, and I'll have to come back in five minutes. That's actually, like, what happens. It's, like, very similar to what I was saying with the lava stuff. Like, if you touch the lava when you're, you know, in, like, a special area like this, it actually just, you just, like, the game crashes. Or you either have to reload a state, or it just completely destroys itself. So... You can't actually, you can't actually beat this bit. I'll, I'll show you what happens. Uh, yeah, I'll show you what happens. Basically, you can only get 22 out of 25 because you have this three of these guys. To, oh shit! Oh crap! Wait, I need some more health. Maybe See, you can get the like one of the mummies like get to club the 
guy. You know, like hit them instead. Kind of if you angle it the right way. Like yeah, you I go might... behind the rock guy. Yeah, I might actually try that. Actually, good suggestion there. Yeah, just because um, I think the only thing is that I think that you have to basically explode them. I don't know if a hit will do anything. That's my concern. I think you might have to. Oh like... yeah, you might be right. Yeah, good uh, point. Let's have a look. Yeah. All right, and let's go. All right, this is actually much easier now when you've got full sparks. I'd say that either way, I mean, this task is not that easy in Sarge, um, what do I call Sergeant 9? In Agent 9's, uh, in Agent 9's, like, area as well, like, it's not actually that easy when you're playing as him. So playing as Spyro is kind of really, like, a similar level of difficulty. It's just a bunch of enemies kind of bombarding you. All right, I'll try and... There you go, see if like, anyone's gonna hit me here. I feel like he's just gonna hit me though, that's my... See, wait. Hit, hit yourself yeah, you stupid shit. Wait. Enemy killing an enemy um, strategy. Maybe, oh see that destroyed some other guys. Look, I wanna see if... See, look. Ah, oh, fucking little shit. Right. Um, yeah, he can kill the snakes, I think. Yeah, I think I think he can kill everyone. Nothing... But... Yeah, but nothing can kill him. And, Disgrace. Yeah. It's like it's like uh, with Bentley. Bentley, oh, nothing can nothing can touch Bentley. All right, okay. I died, but you know what? That's fine because what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cheat and get the egg anyway because I'm a scumbag. All right, okay, here we go. Hidden egg. Oh, and look, if you look at it from here, look, ready? Oh, look from the top though. The color looks really ugly. Like that yellow doesn't even look like yellow. It looks like like I don't know, like beige or something. All right, anyway. Here we go. I like the gold, maybe. Gold, yeah, gold actually is probably a better color. Roxy, there we go. It's not even an egg. I, I kind of misremembered. What was that, sorry? No, I was thinking like if um, there was someone to give you the egg, but actually you just find it. It's kind of been a while since I played this level. Yeah, actually, um, I, I actually thought the same thing, actually. Okay, yeah, me too. I, I actually thought that there was a... Dogs giving you the, the um, egg, but yeah, never mind. But yeah, so this is yet another one of those examples of where when you collect the egg, like as Agent 9, you actually just exit the area. I think you just exit the area. I'm not actually, do you, do you automatically get walked out? I can't remember. But may, either way, it's like the warp is like negated here. I'm going to try and see if where the portal is, because you know, like the, the not the portal, sorry, the, um, where the hell is the, oh, the, oh, it's under here. What the hell? That's really odd. Wait, wait. Oh, you found the, the, it's the room. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, the hidden room. Ooh, wait. Damn. The conversation room. Eye of Horus on the wall. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you got better uh, knowledge than me there, actually. All right, wait. Not really, though. <laughs> oh, look, I'm, I'm through him. Oh, <laughs> God. Look at him, I'm mounting him. <laughs> Mutant. Okay, wait. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, that is, that is scary stuff. <laughs> They're just overlapping. Look at his horns color. going through his eyes. Oh. Piercing his eyes. Pierce kind of the veil. Gruesome. Oh shit. One of those dogs with the funny hats. Alright, we'll try actually we'll have have a brief look. Um Okay, so we end up what the hell? We warp here. We warp in the complete other direction. That's weird. Alright, let's try and <laughs> right. can, the game is confused. Bloody earth it is. Alright, okay. That's so that good. room is the reason why you can play a Spyro in this level. Basically, Otherwise yeah. You... Yeah, that's it. Disease. That's exactly right. right. Where the fuck? That's exactly right. Exactly. Basically, without that, you would not be able to... Far out. Yeah. Sorry about this. Yeah, without that room, it would none of this would be possible. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Really just desperately trying yeah, because to... because this data wouldn't exist in the level otherwise. That's it, exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly, and that's why the whole Sparks thing doesn't work either. So it would be yeah. really good if if we could, like, that would be my dream, would be to somehow figure out how to play as these guys in the level. Do you know what I mean? Like, where you play as Agent 9 in a regular level, or Bentley in a regular level. That would just, that'd blow my mind. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, that, uh, like, that I wish it was possible. But it's 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 just not because. We'll have to. It's a question that we should ask uh, LX Shadow, um, 
because he yeah he kind of he knows his stuff and then you know you never know there might be through it's like extreme hacking you may be able to get his data in there and then somehow i don't know yeah but either way yeah, like scrap the game like yeah the code itself and yeah like, like yeah, really that would, that would be like really scrambling with the game because you'd I'm, have to i like look for the um, data entirely somewhere else kind of yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm. What I'm. Uh, I know what you're saying. No, I know what you're saying. Like, where you, yeah, you have to kind of find all the all the coding that is his character, and then place him into a level, and then be able to actually convert to play as him. Yeah, that'd be pretty ridiculous. But, and all uh, the effects and like it would have. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, so that is it. Like you would have now. to code the whole like. I think like the whole the character's interaction in that level where he's yeah, not supposed that's, to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'd have to put him in some spot and then, like, get him to before you talk to him or something like that. Like, yeah, do basically do this thing, do the thing in reverse. So. So yeah. All right. So, thank you for commentating and thank myself no for filming. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thanking sure. myself, but uh. Yeah, alright, we shall catch you in Agent 9's lab, where there's actually probably more stuff to actually talk about. That's just sort of a bare bones, colour based analysis, really. It's just like, hey, look at the colour. But uh, in the next part, uh, in the final, pretty much the final part of this whole sort of glitch thing, not that I've really organised it by parts, we shall, yeah, we shall visit Agent 9's lab. So see you then. Goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs>